Yo, yo, how's it going guys? So today I've got a pretty interesting wheel set that I'm going to build. I've wanted to test out this specific spoke pattern for a little while now. Some of you have most likely seen it before, but basically my plan is to lace up some 700C fixed gear wheels with this snowflake pattern. Or some of you guys might know them as twisted spokes. I don't think the pattern really has many benefits at all. It's most likely gonna be slightly weaker, probably harder to true, and just gonna take a lot longer to build but I think they look pretty damn interesting and I've been keen to try it out, so I'm just gonna do it anyway. I've only ever really seen them on the odd 26 inch mountain bike wheel over the years. So yeah, pretty interested to see how they turn out on some 700C rims. So these are the parts that I'm gonna be using. I've got these secondhand Dura Ace 7600 hubs. The rear is double sided fixed and they're both 32 hole. For the spokes, I've gone for some trusty straight gauge DT Swiss champions. And for the nipples, I've got these 14mm brass DT Swiss in silver. And for rims, I've got these H Plus Sun archetypes, which should hopefully be a pretty sturdy option for this lacing pattern. So now for the technical stuff. I'm going to be lacing them up with the classic 3 cross pattern. I put the rim and hub measurements into a spoke calculator online, and the measurements for the front have come out at 288mm. And the rear has worked out a little bit shorter at 287.5mm but I'll just round that up to 288. Now from my research online, I've found that most people add around two millimeters per twist. And my plan is to do two twists. So I'll be adding on four millimeters. So the spoke length should hopefully work out to be about 292 for both front and rear. I've never actually done this before. So I'm just crossing my fingers that these calculations will be correct. So we can move on to building up the wheels now. So to make it as easy as possible, the plan is to lace up both wheels in the standard three cross pattern and then do the twists after the spokes are all in. So let's quickly build up the front wheel and see how we go. So the wheel is all laced up. I've only just put the nipples on loosely. Um, it's just enough to hold the spokes in place. So you can see here that the spokes are sticking quite far out of the rim, which if I was building this the normal way, um, this would be a sign that the spokes could be a little bit too long. But because we added that extra four millimeters on for the twists, it's looking just about right. So what my plan is now is to remove two nipples from one pair at a time, starting off with this one here. Now once these nipples are off, I'm going to pull the spokes out from the rim and just start twisting. So that's just one twist now. And then that's number two. So I'll put these nipples back onto the spokes just to hold them in place. So the reason why I went with two twists is that means that the spoke is going to go back in the same rim hole that it would normally go into if it was just the normal three cross. If it was just the one cross, it would be looping back to the other spoke hole, which in my head just didn't really seem as strong. Once you've done the two crosses, it should kind of look like this figure of eight here. So I'm happy with how the patterns worked out, so I'll move on to the other twists and let's see how we go. So I've just finished up this one side and it's starting to take shape. I think it looks pretty damn rad. Now I just need to finish the other side and we'll be able to see the whole thing. So here we go guys. That's the front wheel all laced up. Should give you a pretty good idea of what it's gonna look like. All I need to do now is tension up the spokes, give it a true and hope that my calculations are correct.
So it's all tensioned up now and I'm pretty happy with the tension and how true it is. It might be quite hard to see, but the spokes turned out almost perfect. They're just sticking out the end of the nipples about one millimeter, which I'm pretty happy with. One thing I was worried about was the angle of the spokes at the rim, as doing the twist pattern puts them at a sharper angle. You can see that they bend very slightly at the nipples, but it's actually not too bad. I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. What do you guys think? So that's the front wheel done. Now we just need to repeat that same process on the rear wheel and we can put these on a bike. And there we go. I got both wheels laced up now. The rear one went fairly straightforward. You can definitely see where they get that snowflake name from. I think they look pretty sweet. Let's just hope they're strong. So I'm gonna test them out on my 2015 histogram. So I'll remove these old wheels, swap the tires over, fit a new cog and lock ring, and then we can chuck the new wheels on. So let's see how it looks. And there we go guys, I think they turned out looking pretty damn sweet, really happy with them. Apparently this pattern needs to be retensioned and trued a few times, but I'm pretty happy with the tension at the moment. I did my normal spoke bedding and truing, but I'll give them another little tension after a few rides. Let me know what you guys think, and if you've ever built wheels like these before, keen to hear your experiences. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, I hope some of you found this as interesting as I did. I'm going to take these out for a spin now and see how they hold up. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.